Hi everyone, uh, I'm Vivek. I go by VivBoop on like social media stuff. I'm here presenting Personi on behalf of, or Hanon on behalf of Personi and Xerox Park. Uh, before I go into what Hanon actually is, I want to talk about a little motivation. So currently online, we have basically two ways of presenting ourselves. You can use your entire real life identity, like me, I'm Vivek, I'm from Boston, I grew up there, I work at Xerox Park now. And you know, this includes also like your social graph, your hometown, like all the random tweets you said. And then the other basic option is to be fully pseudonymous. Uh, it's an account that's unlinked from everything else. And if you bring any reputation from your real life identity into your pseudonymous account, it can, it, it, it can be really easy to sort of dox you. And so what Hanon is, is, is attempting to be an open source app to allow users to attach a subset of their identity and reputation to speech online. So they can choose selectively what they actually wanna kind of attach with everything they say. It uses zero knowledge proofs to prove membership in both off-chain and on-chain groups without revealing your exact identity. Uh, right now we have deployed for uh, ECDSA groups, which just includes like various groups on Ethereum, like NFT owners or Gitcoin donors, as well as some semaphore groups, um, including like the TAS group from PSC. And we also had a group at SBC also using semaphore. Um, for all these apps, like the proof is completely generated client side. It's stored on IPFS, IPFS and then anywhere where this like message is posted, we also attach like um, this like proof and also like a little panel to like verify the proof as well. How do you use it? So here at DevCon, um, as the PSC folks mentioned, like you can just go to the TAS booth and pick up a little card. And then if you navigate to the Hanon section on the experience pages, you'll be able to post a tweet to this DevCon Hanon feed. After DevCon, you can continue to use this account. You still have access to it and you can still reply as an attendee of DevCon uh, to other people's tweets or to just say whatever you want. And we're gonna add more sort of general Ethereum groups that more people can post to very soon. In addition, we recently shipped a version of an admin panel where people can suggest their own groups. This can be stuff that's actually like, you know, NFT owners or like some sort of like new actually existing thing, or you can even just make a group with your friends and just post on behalf of like your little friend group if you want. Uh, there's a V1 at this link and we're gonna sort of like clean it up and then add it to the Hanon website very soon. Another sort of goal of, of Hanon is that just overall, like Zika terminology is super technical and in my opinion, very boring. Every developer in ZK will tell you that what they're doing just like feels magical. Like it doesn't make sense that you can get verifiability, succinctness, and privacy all in one tool, but it all sort of just works. And I think using terms like proving, verifying, zero knowledge, like all this stuff sort of like magical this is to like an end user. And I think like to really convince people how big of a paradigm shift we're making from like, you know, centralized servers owning all of your data to you owning all of your data and then proving stuff about that, we're gonna need some like new vocabulary, new product, new branding work. So heavily inspired by conversations with Justin, who's actually here, uh, we've attempted to use magical terminology for all parts of the ZK stack. So instead of a stem for identity, this is your wand. With your wand, you cast spells. And instead of prove, like downloading a proving key, you use magical equipment to make all this work. And so we'll get to see this in action. So um, hopefully the internet doesn't ruin this, but I will demo. You good? Um, demo Taz, or demo the Taz group from my phone. So this is the Taz website. If you navigate down to here to Hanon, you can just click on this and it'll take you to the page. I've preloaded it because I don't want to wait for the internet. And so there's a few options. So first off, you can view the feed, you can post or you can apply. I'll just go through each of them. <laughs> Oops. Um, well, now, uh, okay, so here's the feed. This is the, this is the feed of all the different posts that people have made. Not a lot of like interesting stuff, just random people saying random stuff, but if you join, you can add some spice to the feed. And then if we go back to the main app, we can now post anything we want. So I'm gonna say, um, this is, Ayush, Ayush is presenting next, posting this. No one can verify this, so I'm just gonna say it. Um, and then, you know, it'll generate the proof. This is all with Semaphore, which is all fast enough that it can be run on your phone. Um, nice. So here, if you actually want, you can look at the elliptic curve points that make up your proof. For most people, that doesn't mean anything. Um, so we can submit. And then, boom. There it is. Oh. <laughs> uh, here it is. So here's the, here's the sort of like uh, tweet itself. And then if you click on this link, it'll take you to a page where you can, let's see if this is gonna work. Nice. Uh, where you can verify this proof in browser. I'm um, just using like the semaphore V key. 
Okay, so let's go back. So Vitalik, he posted this funny little, funny little, little, little tweet about um, Bogota, and so I'm gonna reply to it as this, as this bot actually. So if we go back to this, um, I can just paste in the tweet link that I want to reply to. can't tell you. Okay. And then again, it'll do its little thing. Come on, buddy. What's going on? Let's try that again. Um, it might just be some internet thing or like the tweet isn't working. Nice. Um, cool. We can submit it. And then, nice. I've now replied to Vitalik as an anonymous DevCon attendee. So yeah, that's sort of how this works. Um, let me disconnect now. And so, yeah, I just want to go through like a lot of our sort of future directions with this. Right now, everything is very Twitter-based, but as I said in the introduction, like this is really just a mechanism to attach reputation to your speech online. And so we want to basically have like, um, first off, like a lot more different groups, not just Ethereum and Semaphore groups. Uh, ZK email, which is going to be presented next by Ayush, who is not here, uh, is going to give us access to a lot of interesting groups. One thing is just like organizations, like you can verify that like this person owns like a Twitter.com email or like a Facebook.com email. Um, you can prove you're a top fan of an artist by looking at some Spotify wrapped emails. You can prove that you own some amount of stocks with a Robinhood email. So email really opens the gates up to like a, a bunch of really interesting Twitter groups. In addition, like GitHub users, like if you go to your like username and then type dot keys, it'll store all your public like RSA keys or EDDSA keys that you use to do SSH. And so from there we can make GitHub groups. And then sort of as Jason was getting to, I don't know if he's here, uh, we can also have groups that are like gated with ML models. So we can do some sort of like primitive like KYC or like face ID. Uh, you can even imagine like some sort of thing where it's like if there's some treasure hunt of some item and like you find the item, you can take a picture of it and then you can post to some Twitter feed basically or kind of get a, get a ZKP of that. Uh, in addition, like we're working on just in general like improving the ECDSA proving process. Like right now it still takes like five minutes and can only be done on a computer, but we have a lot of exciting work that's making that better. Uh, there's one repo like under the Personia Labs GitHub that is working on basically doing a lot of the signature verification outside of the snark in a way that doesn't actually remove privacy in any way. Um, in addition, we're trying to move from CIRCOM to Halo 2. We're in the process of taking the Halo 2 ECC circuits from Axiom and, and getting this to work in browser. And also we're interested in potentially trying to get some collaborative ZK snarks working, which is where like N different provers work together to produce a proof over like some shared like or secret shared witness. And if one of those end users is actually the, like you yourself, then sort of privacy is preserved by like the one of N um, MPC assumptions. And for the product, yeah, as I was mentioning, like uh, this isn't supposed to be just be Twitter. Um, we want to put this everywhere. So this is just gonna take like, <laughs> just like writing a bunch of different, like, like just posting mechanisms. And then one thing I'm really excited about is like for, for, for Reddit, for example, and also this, 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 this works for like, get dis like Discord and like Telegram a bit is like, you can really tune specific like groups to like specific like subreddits or like specific like group chats or channels. And so it'll basically just like allow for sort of more fine grained, interesting groups. Whereas on Twitter, it's sort of like this massive public feed and like you, you know, if you have too many groups or people, it can get a bit overwhelming. And then sort of as Tsukino was getting at, like um, moderation is really important for all this stuff. Uh, every, every sort of good use case of, 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 you know, being able to talk pseudonymously, like for example, if you're in an oppressive regime and you want to speak up against your government, but not sort of, you know, ha like get attacked, like you can use something like this to say what you want. But at the same time, like, uh, let's say you're a very powerful person and, and you're in like sort of an anonymous group with other powerful people. 
you can just use this to say really, really shitty things without any sort of um, like sort of uh, like negative feedback coming back to you because you know you're you're protected by this veil anonymity. So it's gonna be really important that uh, there's some sort of moderation built in. I think the 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 most like sort of standard way to do this is just like within your group, you either have some admins that approve all your posts, similar to like a Facebook group, or even potentially just like um, any any three people in the group need to approve some post before it's posted publicly for other people. Um, yeah, help us out. We uh, we have so many projects and stuff to do. We really want to release all this stuff as just it's open source because we think that users should be able to like store their own parts of their identity without. Also, you know, builders should be able to build on top of all this stuff. And um, there's also a lot of really cool ways to put this out in the real world. Like uh, Chance from PSC had this really cool idea of basically like arming uh, people who are trying to unionize against like a, you know, some, some big corporation like Amazon. Uh, basically handing out little semaphore keys to different people so that they could post to a Twitter feed as a verified sort of Amazon employee, but sort of not, you know, face any consequences for, for saying what they want to say. Yeah, thank you. That's all. And this is a link to our repo. It's kind of messy because it's just been me hacking, but uh, we're going to clean it up soon. And uh, we want to onboard more people. So thank you. I think our second mic died, <laughs> but we have a few minutes. Are there any questions? I'll just, I'll just run it back and forth. If I think it's better. <laughs> uh, wait, you haven't asked one yet. Can we do some kind of voting in the Simophore group to make sure that we can add more people, for example, if like 10 out of 10 will vote for create another like proof? <clears throat> yes, can we do voting inside that protocol? Because you can also like do voting outside the protocol, but then what's the purpose of using the protocol? Um. We don't have that built out, but yeah, that could be added. Um, I don't see no reason why I can't. Cool. Thank you. Um, we had one over here. So if somebody posts something that causes that Twitter account to get banned, uh, is it possible to like make a new group without knowing who they are, but that they're not in it? Um, it depends. I think... So if you have nullifiers for every single address, um, then I think you can basically ban like the sort of like like bad nullifier from like the second group. Um, the point you're making though about Twitter banning groups is very accurate. Like Twitter could at, at any point shut down this entire operation. So that is part of the reason why building on these centralized platforms is is tough, and why building stuff like Zkitter is so important for the for this sort of stuff. Any other questions? Now I have two microphones. I don't know if that's useful for anyone. Um, okay. Oh, one more. Pass it down. Have you uh, considered turning this into LinkedIn? Because I think that's an environment where people really have to uphold like the professional identity, right? And not able to like share information that they actually would like to share with their colleagues or people in their community. Uh, Glassdoor is a good example but you cannot really verify if people work at some place like in a setting like that. Oh, wait, what, what was your question? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, once we have like ZK email sort of working, um, it'll be really easy to sort of bootstrap these groups of like, for example, like employees of a company. Um, Glassdoor and Blind like works pretty well for this stuff, but um, again, like you're trusting Glassdoor and Blind to, to not reveal this information. I think there was some like lawsuit in New Zealand or something where like Glassdoor got sued to like release some of their information. So, you know, this stuff does break down at, at some level, but um, yeah, we could, we could just have a more sort of secure version of that for sure.